Former New York City bodega worker Jose Alba is suing District Attorney Alvin Bragg and the NYPD for racial discrimination after his controversial prosecution for acting in self-defense. The attorney representing Jose Alba, Richard Cardinal, joins us now. Thank you, Richard, for being here. Thank you for having me. And so we were just discussing kind of the basis of this lawsuit. Please break it down for us. Okay, it's got, it's got um, various parts. The, you know, the primary claim is against the city and also the police officer, the detective, yes. that made the arrest. They did no investigation. And, you know, the first step in a criminal process when charges are brought is they draft a criminal court complaint. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we have that. And it's the detective who's being sued who was describing in the criminal court complaint what he saw in the video. And it's completely uh, mischaracterized. So the, the, detective's, uh, the detective's description or representation of what happened in the video, in your opinion, is very contradictory to what actually happened in the video. So what you're saying is the original arrest itself was predicated on essentially false evidence? Um, you, know, you know, basically, it seems like because of the, the, ra the racial equity... Uh, um, policy by Bragg is that they want to have an equality of outcome, and that's impossible to achieve. Everybody yeah. should be be treated equally. You know, in the so lawsuit, in this case, it's the race of of the perpetrator, not the not the race of your defendant. It, it's probably it's both because we point out other instances in the lawsuit, such as what happened on the subway when um, the former Marine, yeah. um, you know, had had a. Uh, physical altercation yes. with somebody who was terrorizing somebody, as well as somebody else. They're, they're treated completely differently. And if you look at D.A. Bragg's own written policies on day one, they weren't afforded any of those protections. But going back to my client, Jose Alba, um, he meets with the D.A.'s office after he makes the arrest to draft the criminal complaint. Mm -hmm. And you read this, and it makes it seem like the person that attacked Jose was a victim and Jose was aggressive. Mm -hmm. But then when D.A. Bragg got all the pressure from the mayor... When we all got to see the video and understand right. what happened... Yeah, he said we're still... Changed his mind pretty quickly. Right, he said we're still investigating, we're looking into it. And, you know, they should investigate before they make the arrest and instead of just so having him... with this right lawsuit, there. what is your goal? Is your goal to seek... Uh, you know, a monetary reward uh, back to your client, or is your goal to change the policy or both? Well, um, you know, we would like the policy to change. Mm -hmm. My client is looking for justice, but in a civil lawsuit in federal court, all you really can get is monetary damages, yeah. compensatory and uh, punitive damages. But when D.A. Bragg did his investigation after the pressure... They filed a motion to dismiss, um, basically laying out what was in the videos that they did in their investigation. And yeah. it's a completely different characterization. Well, and I think the conversation here is just because ultimately justice was found doesn't mean it was done justly. And that's where your lawsuit comes into play. Right. Well, it, and, uh, you know, yeah. false evidence was basically, or, right. the, or the evidence was mischaracterized. Listen, we're going to follow this. This is very interesting because this can affect a lot of people's lives. We see too many stories like this, especially with the DA here in Manhattan. Thank you for joining us, sure. and good luck in your case. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.